Hello my friends, this is Noah and welcome back to the channel. Today we are kicking off what I am going to call my Linux experiment. I know, super creative name, right? So as you can see, well, you can probably guess anyway, I currently run Windows on this PC. This is a PC that I built uh, maybe about a year ago. And when I bought it, I really didn't wanna pay for Windows, but I wasn't really ready to go to Linux. It seemed intimidating. And what I'm realizing is, I think the intimidation factor is mostly fluff. So I'm gonna break some of these things down for you guys about what I've learned and tell you the outline of what we're gonna do here, why I chose the Linux distribution that I'm gonna go with, and we'll kind of go from there. So generally speaking, there are a lot of different distributions of Linux. So I'm on the uh, Linux distribution page of Wikipedia here. I know, you know, one of the one of the sources we're not supposed to use for academic stuff, but we're not doing academic stuff right now. So I think it's fine. So as you can see, I'm just gonna go from the top. They have Debian, then we get to Ubuntu. This is one that you hear about a lot. There are a number of people who run this. Uh, it's very, very popular, and there's even ones based on that. In fact, the one I'm actually going to end up trying here is Pop! OS, which is based on Ubuntu. Then there are some others. There's Fedora, there's OpenSUSE, there's Arch Linux, and you'll see this just as called Arch a lot of times, and then there's a bunch of others. And in terms of how many bunch of others are there, let me just show you this tree. Do you see this tree? I mean, I'm gonna try and open this up, but it's ridiculously insane. These are all Linux distributions, okay? So it's intimidating, right? It's intimidating. So when I started really wanting to learn about this again, Honestly, I went to YouTube and found a couple videos that broke this down pretty well. And if I can find them again, I'll link them in the description so that you can get a better understanding of the different distributions and the families that they're in and why they're related. But there was one thing that really pushed me over to wanting to try Linux now. And that is that I moved from a dual monitor setup to a single monitor. So I went from having two really not very great monitors to having one nice 27 inch 4K monitor. The problem I had with Windows is resizing things. So let me open up a little window here and I will show you what I mean. Uh, let's take the Pop! OS one. If I want this Pop! OS to be on the left side, so I can move it over here to the left. And what I learned after the fact is if you pull it all the way to the left, it will snap automatically all the way to the left side like this. And then you can click on this to have it be on the right side. I didn't know that before. I didn't know that before I decided to try Linux. And now I'm committed to it, I'm doing it. So. Since I learned this literally today, it's been much easier, I will say, than me manually resizing things or going up here to the top, hovering over, and you can see you can select the different things. But like taking that quarter of a second for this to render, it was just really annoying me. So the other thing that I learned that I'll share real quickly is if you have a window like this and you want it to be on the right-hand side of your screen, you can click the Windows button and write on the arrows on your keyboard and it will automatically snap it. Now that is great to know now but I've already been annoyed, so I'm trying out Linux. So why did I choose Pop! OS? Well, Pop! OS, the main thing that I found about it that got me really excited was they do this window snapping thing. That is like one of the main things of Pop! OS and its interface is it allows you to do window snapping. And so as I was starting to get really annoyed since I moved to one monitor with the whole not being able to get my window where I want it to be, um, I decided I need a change. I need to try something new. And I remembered that Pop! OS was based upon this idea of having snappable tiles. And I was like, all right, guys, let's go for it. So what have I done to prep? What I've done to prep for this is I bought a second hard drive. It was the cheapest hard drive I could find. It's like one terabyte. I think I paid 50 or 60 bucks. And so that's what I'm going to end up using. It is a SATA drive. It's not an NVMe drive. So it's gonna be a little bit slower, but it still should work and it should do everything we want it to do. Now, why do we wanna to go to Linux? So there's lots of reasons why people want to move to Linux. But for me, my re main reason is that I didn't want to pay for Windows. I don't like being stuck in this, you have to pay X amount of money to use a Windows thing. I would much rather be able to use a free open source thing that does what I need it to do. So what are we going to do in this series? What we're going to do in this series is first, I'm going to show you guys how to connect a new hard drive to your computer because I find it really silly that people pay for this given how easy it is. It's literally two cables that get plugged in to put in a hard drive like we're going to do. So I'll show you how to do that. It's really not hard. It won't take long. It'll, it'll be a pretty short video, but you know, I talk, so maybe it won't be that short. Next, we will get Pop! OS up and running on this computer. Now, I'm gonna take you along for the adventure on this. 
I am not going to go ahead and try it ahead of time so that it's perfect when we go through. I am gonna show you what a relatively average dude like me goes through when trying to convert a computer to Linux. Now, from videos I've watched, it should be pretty easy, but I haven't done it before, so we're gonna find out. I think it's gonna be fun. So after that, we will go into the third video of the series, uh, at least I'm planning for it to be the third video of the series, where we go through and we compare software compatibility. And we look at all the software that we use as researchers, or at least that I use as researcher on a, on a normal basis. So I'm gonna look at things like email clients, see what's available, calendar clients, see what's available. Uh, we're gonna try and get open web UI running. We're gonna get Olama running. We're gonna, well, I'm gonna have to get OBS recorder running because that's what I screen record with. Uh, I'll try and get LM Studio running. I don't remember if that's supported or not, but it probably is. We're going to run some RStudio. We're going to run Zotero. We're going to work on Firefox. All of those web applications that you need to use for work, like no joke, you need to have it. We're going to do that because my plan is to actually work off Linux for a while. I think it'll go well, question mark. I hope it'll go well. What I'm hoping to get out of this is I'm hoping that I will be able to conv completely convert over to Linux, but I honestly don't know if there's going to be anything in it for me because the updates on Windows don't bother me that much, but there are some things that that do, and I, I don't want to I don't want to rant about data privacy and security and stuff here. So that said, this that's where we're going with this video series. So this one, I want to tell you guys about why I'm doing this. I want to tell you guys about what distro I'm using. I'm gonna use the Pop OS distro. If you guys have any questions, comments, anything. Let me know if there's any questions that you have ahead of time as we're going into this, uh, drop them into the chat and I will be happy to reply. I will tell you now, I don't know anything about terminal commands and such for Linux. So if something goes wrong, we're gonna be figuring it out together and I'll show the problem <laughs> in the video and then I'll probably fast forward through all my problem solving unless I figure it out pretty easily. So I think this is gonna be a fun little adventure. I suspect that there will be some misadventures where perhaps I do something wrong or I break something. And if that's the case, I'm gonna leave it in so you guys can laugh at me um, because I just, I just really feel like a lot of these videos that are out there on how to install things, they show what happens when it goes perfectly. Sometimes people make a lot of assumptions. So I'm not gonna make any assumptions. I'm gonna go through this straight from zero to hero and we're gonna see if it works. So with that said, I'm gonna stop rambling. I will see you all in the next video. Please like and subscribe to make sure you don't miss any of the follow-up videos on this super fun Linux experiment. Thank you guys for all your support. I will talk to you guys soon.